Yankees visit the Friars of Providence. And good evening to you once again all along the Big East Television Network. Len Berman along with former Seton Hall coach Bill Raftery. And what's the psychology of a Providence team? Providence comes in just 9-9. Nine and nine. Many of those losses were close, tough losses. And that five-overtime loss to Dayton. Well, uh, as you alluded, the five-overtime loss is a tough one to overcome. Except Joe's kids really believe in him. Hang it, God. Number five. A 6'5 junior from Roxbury, Mass., Ron Jackson. At guard, number 20, a 6'3 senior from Brockport, New York, Jim Panaggio. At center, number 33, a 6'9 sophomore from Boynton Beach, Florida, Otis Thorpe. At forward, number 22, a 6'7 sophomore from Dover, Mass., Sean Canty. And at forward, number 11, a 6'6 senior from Manassas, Virginia, Bill Fields. I don't the head coach of the Friars, Joe Mullaney. Right, the man on the left, Hank Nichols. The man in the middle, Jim Burr. And on the right, Nick Gaetani are our three officials tonight. You've been by Mike McKay. Thor, looking for the first points, makes the first points. Good morning, Providence. Practically each club does it for fear of giving up the layup. This should be the time they went man. Here's they give up a layup. <laughs> Down in collegiate basketball. Here's Alex Dennis, blocked by Thor. Thor is the offense and the defense. Bailey went for the steal. Jackson looking to crack the scoreboards. Oh, beautiful move by Ronnie Jackson. That'll wake That's up. Fine. That'll wake up the house. Big schoolboy hero with Dom Savio up there. Block shot. Ryan Burns blocked Thompson. Asking for the ball down low. Ron Jackson up high, drives through, goes over Thompson. Maybe that's the spark they needed. For an opening, goes up over Hobbs, rolls it off. There's another offensive rebound. Thorpe. And it rolls in. They already have twice as many offensive rebounds in the second half as Providence fans enjoy the effort. That's I think it is in a man-to-man, -man, but help out. There's Thorpe. There's two. Within 10. Ron Jackson. Oh, a pump one-hander is beautiful. Jackson's been the offensive star for Providence. Perno wants a timeout. The crowd comes to life. What Hello, they need, buddy. We have a basketball game. Can't match baskets. Ronnie Jackson from downtown. He's got it. <laughs> nice 6-5. Thompson in and out. Providence with the ball. A chance to close it to eight. Fields wants it. Fields gets it. Panaggio in traffic made a nice pass to Billy Fields who set himself right away. He gets a hot hand. He can be very tough. Providence has come out smoking a 14 to 6 run in the second half. 12 50 remain. They're within eight. Shot. Connecticut bellying up now, making it hard. Jackson over Thompson. Hits it and he's fouled. Ronnie Jackson with 12 points now. To a seven point deficit. Terrific 10 minutes of basketball for Providence. Right, Roxbury Junior Community College. Ronnie Jackson made a name for himself. 13 points now. Nine of them here in the second half. Voila, seven-point deficit. 40 to 33. Tough to I'll let you explain how they did it. Jackson. That should be a goaltender. Hey, hey. the foul. Call the goaltend official. Come on. That is goaltending if a foul is called. Absolutely. There's the ball. Go. to go. Yes, sir. Good call, Len. Never happens. McKay. He misses. Follows nicely. There's the follow-up, and it's good by Bailey. That's where Connecticut's killing Providence. Bailey with double figures now, but playing with four personal fouls. Seals. He goes on the drive. Good pass to Panaggio. Passes up the shot. Thorpe on a turnaround. Double team. Hits. He's been quiet thus far. Yep. All the outside shooting opened it up for him. Not me. Two fouls on Thompson. Important free throw for Thorpe. I'll let you explain what's happened during the second half, Coach. Uh, one, Connecticut at the halftime thought the game was over. I got news for you. They're not the only ones. Uh, the Providence kids uh, 
Joe, I'm sure, incited them and got them involved, and uh, that's the turnaround. Jessica inside to Thompson. And that's blocked by Thorpe, and here comes Providence again. Providence trying to close within two. Thorpe. Here's Jackson. They working around. Look out for Billy Fields on the far side. Look out for Jackson on this side. 17 points for Ronnie Jackson. The Friars within two. He shot that one from right by our seat, Lynn. Behind by 15 and exhorting your team to get back in it. We're at the four and a half minute mark now. Connecticut leading it by two. Ron Pernell says start moving around, Mike McKay. Let's do something here. Here's McKay. On Providence looking to force the ball down to the corner a little bit now and get a trap if they can. This is one of Joe's tactics. And Connecticut there is inside. He ball. Finally, they give it to Connecticut. Just 14 points in the second half. Amazing. McKay. Foul. Looky here. Doesn't get an opening. Billy Fields. We're tied. She called it. Wouldn't have it any other way. 45, 45, a minute 44 to go. And serves you right for getting bored at half. Serves me right. I thought it was over at halftime. It's never over till it's over. All right. Yogi Raftery here with 90 seconds remaining. Watch the clock. Thompson. Watch a timeout. Thompson from 20. Overtime. Wow. 45 45. It's a long time to hold the ball without making an error. Without a shot. Thorpe lost it, saved it, stepped on the baseline. So all of that holding for naught. It's Connecticut ball for the first time. This reminds me of a football game. Dom Perno now sending in his sure. big strong. Sending side. the offensive unit. Yes. It's a football game at this point. Connecticut has possession. Good move by Dom. Awful long time to hold the ball. I don't care how good you are. It's tough. Giving them a little bit of their own medicine now. I think they'll hold it to the end, obviously. We have played three minutes and eight seconds of overtime without a single shot. This is hold ball. A minute and 35 left. No shots. 80 seconds remain. I think Tom Perno will call another timeout. Somebody shoot. Those rims and nets are icing up. No action. 60 seconds remain in the first overtime. We haven't had a shot. It's 45-45. This is a referee's delight, though. <laughs> Counts the seconds and stand still. This is, I'm glad I'm not doing this game on radio. Can you imagine having to do the play-by-play -play here? <laughs> nothing. At least you can watch the nothing here on television. 40 seconds remain. 30 seconds. Somebody shoot. I have a feeling the next shot will be the only shot in overtime. They're setting up a play now. 10. McKay, no! 
Connecticut ball with four seconds to go. Oh, and they lost at the buzzer. They can't get it to McKay. There's Thompson. Two seconds. Thompson. Now tipped up and in by Kaczynski. Connecticut has a beautiful tip. Courtney Thompson putting the soft jump shot up. The Providence bench has not moved. They can't believe what has happened. What a tough, heart-rendering loss.